away to stay with me last night. Even though I know it can't happen too often. It's going to happen as often as I can make it happen. Well, your father only covered for you last night because he thought you were out having a little quarter main fling. Loving you is no fling. Yeah, we know that. I can't believe that you are carrying my child. I tell you, I'm still absolutely reeling from the news. You're really happy about the baby, aren't you? In spite of the complications? I'm very happy. Well, we've got problems, all right. There's no doubt about that. Alan, why couldn't I just tell the truth? I mean, without naming you, of course. What truth? The absolute truth. Fell in love with the man, decided to settle down and raise his child. End of story. No, no, I think we've really got to do better than that. My darling, we work together, we have the disco, we see each other all the time. You're not dating anyone in particular. As soon as Monica finds out that you're pregnant, she's going to be suspicious anyway. Alan. I could never forgive myself if because of this baby you lost your little boy. Thank you for being so wonderful about everything. That's all you're doing. You bring out the best in me. Wish I could spend the rest of the day here with you. Yes, yeah, so do I. But you can't. You better get to that hospital or Monica's gonna start asking questions. Wasn't that lucky she had to spend the whole night in the war? Are you absolutely sure about that now? I'm absolutely sure because I called several times and left several messages. Excuse me, Dr. Ogama, call orthopedic. Third floor, nurse. Oh, hi, Bobby. My goodness, I don't believe you're still here. Yeah, I had a late night surgery. Well, I know I saw it on the log, but I thought somebody forgot to check you out. No, no, I wanted to stay with the patient. They're bringing him down to the cardiac unit now. Uh, there aren't any urgent messages for me. I hope, please. I'll check for you. Thank you. No, there's nothing urgent, but your husband called a couple of times. What do you want? Well, they didn't put the calls through, probably because you were in surgery, but I think he just wanted to check up and see how everything was going. <laughs> yeah, well, he does that time to time. He seems so happy about all this new activity of yours now that you are a senior surgeon. Yeah. Well, look, I, uh, I'll be in CICU if you need me. Got it. Okay. Nurse Blanham, report to next week. Hi. Nurse Blanham. Hi, Ruby. Well? Well, what? How did it go? How did what go? Now, it seems to me I recall that you had a dinner date with a very handsome Dr. Noah Drake. Oh, him. Uh-huh, him. <laughs> now, come on, how did it go, really? Ruby, it went great. Oh, terrific. Did you like him as much as when you met him in New York? Oh, I like him even more. You know, when I got back from that medical convention in New York, I started to think that maybe I imagined him in the whole thing, that he couldn't be real. But he is real, and I'm really excited about him. <laughs> I can see that. I just hope he feels the same way about me. Look. I'm very glad you've got a man in your life, but... But what? No, I don't want to be a downer, but I don't want you to move too fast. You just met him. I don't want to see you hurt again. <laughs> Amy, we're not leaning on you. You have a friendship with Heather. That's fine. She happens to be in a very complex situation right now. And we know uh, that you're sensitive uh, to her and that you care about her. I do. I really do. You were not around when she lost control of herself and she tried to hurt Diana. I know that Anne's name was written next to Diana's body in blood. But what if it was meant for a different Anne? Okay, I admit that would be a wild coincidence, all right? Yes, it would. Now, don't you think people would wonder about Heather if she had any way of knowing that Jeff and Anne were in love with each other? Yes, I know. See, it's very important for you to try to remember every single thing that you ever said to Heather about Jeff and Anne and their emotional relationship. Well, I think maybe I did talk about Anne once, and... And what? And I almost slipped up. Um, I think I said something about um, Diane and Anne having a fight. Oh, um, all right, what specifically did you say? Can you remember? 
I, I didn't intend to tell her anything. Honestly, I just, I don't know, I got all caught up in it. And I said something to the effect that it was probably very hard for them to be working together on Port Charles week. Uh, the parade? Well, what else? Anything else? I don't think it's important. Really, I don't. Be because I stopped myself in time, honestly. I mean, I really didn't want to say anything to upset you Heather. You stopped yourself from saying what? Well, I didn't say it. Well, sort of. Well, I, I didn't Amy? say it Amy! Okay, um, I implied that the fight was over Jeff. Amy, you didn't do that! Well, it was gossip all over oh. the hospital. Everybody knew that Jeff spent the night with Diana Taylor that time. What? Did you tell her that? No. Really? You're... No, I didn't. Honestly, I didn't tell her anything like that. And besides, she didn't even seem interested in what I was saying. Do you realize that you may, you, you, Amy, may very well have told Heather too much for her own good, not to mention Anne's, or especially Diana's? Leslie, Joe said he was going to be in Captain Ramsey's office. I'm going to call him. Yes. Amy, you're going to have to tell this to Joe yourself. Oh, Leslie, do I have to? Yes, you have to. There you go, Amy. This guy, Drake, has got all these nurses going. Oh, don't I know it. I was in the 10th floor, and all I could hear was Noah Drake, Noah Drake. <laughs> How you doing, Bobby? Hi, Brian. Uh, I didn't miss Gail while I was on that elevator, was, did I? No, she didn't check in yet. Okay, well, when you see her, please tell her that our appointment this morning has been canceled. Okay. What were you just chatting about? Uh, we're talking about that new doctor, Noah Drake. Do you like him, Brian? Well, all the nurses like him. They flipped. Well, they're just going to have to stand in line because my Bobby met him first at a medical convention in New York. Yes, and I saw those two together in the cafeteria. He has a special eye for her. <laughs> oh, come on. You know how it is. Somebody comes into a new town, and suddenly they see a face they recognize, and it's instant friendship. Uh-huh. A likely story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Gail. Hi, Well, good morning. What are you doing? Well, 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 sir. Good to see you. Darling, I'm sorry I was such a downer earlier. Oh, Ruby, that's okay. Besides, you're probably right. I shouldn't let myself get too excited about a gorgeous-looking person like Dr. Noah Drake. Oh. By the way, Gail, you wanted me to sit in on your appointment with Mr. Braddock. He just canceled. Oh, great. Why is it that the first morning appointment is the one that always gets canceled? Well, people make up excuses so they can spend more time in bed, huh? <laughs> now, I know you're kidding, but you know what? There may be some truth in that. Well, I'm going to go get some coffee, unless you want me for something. No, no, no. You go ahead, Brian. Okay. Oh, Lee, uh, congratulations. I hear you have the quarter mains for clients. Oh, yes. I do. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. See you later. Bye. Well, honey, I better get up to Steve's office, huh? Well, listen, that's not going to make you late for your appointment with Edward, no, is no, it? No, no, It's a short meeting, just a minor labor problem to figure out. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Love you. Bobby, are there any messages for me besides that cancellation one that Brian just gave me? No, Gail, none at all. Okay. Thank you. Hi. Oh, hot. well, good heavens, you look exhausted. Uh, I had all night surgery. Have you had anything to eat? Um, no. Mm. <laughs> Listen, let's go get something, huh? My, my first patient just canceled. Okay, then I'm going home, and I'm going to sleep for the rest of the day. Hi, Monica. How did it go? I heard you uh, called me. Yes, several times. Um, how's your patient? Well, he, I think he's going to be all right. I was a little worried for a while. Oh, good. Um, what are you going to do? Go home and get some rest? Uh, after we have some breakfast, she will. Mm -hmm. oh, would you care to join us, Alan? No, thank you. I've got a lot of work to do up in the office. So. Are you all right, Monica, other than being tired? Yes, I'm fine. I just wondered why you were staring at me like that. I thought you were the one who was staring at me strangely. Well, no, I wasn't doing anything of the kind. It must be your imagination. Probably. Yeah. I'll see you later then. Bye. Bye, Alan. Just, just please, just stay out of 
trouble today, okay? Me stay out of trouble. I'll stay out of trouble just fine. You stay out of trouble. I don't want you to try to follow me today. That's all, dear. I don't. Don't. Luke, come in, come in. We've been waiting for you. Alex, relax. I have no information yet. Well, so, Luke, this is it, then. You're definitely seeing Emma Lutz today, right? Yes, unless she calls and cancels lunch. Look, I've got to get that statue back, all right? Alex. Alex, I understand your concern, but I believe we're at the end of the problem. I think Charlie Lutz is my man. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just a little uptight, all right? Baby, of course you are. I mean, it's gone on too long. The, the rubber band is stretched very tightly. <sighs> Edward, what are you doing? I think Baldwin's going to be arriving. I thought he might pick up on the tension around here, so I thought I'd get him out of the office. Good idea, sir. Alex, have you heard from Scorpio? No, why? Because I'm sure he's on to me. I know he's trying to tail me. I'll get it. Yes. Um, I talked to her on the phone. Just oh, uh, yes. Put it through. <laughs> hey, baby. How are you? Hi, Luke. Um, listen, I just wanted to call up and make sure that you were going to come over. Baby, nothing short of being snuffed would keep me from you today. Look, I'm starved. What you got to eat? <laughs> oh, you're such a little devil. Look, I can't wait to see you, Luke. <laughs> Emma, we're going to make history this afternoon. <sighs> better. 